Developing tonight on CBS4 News right now at 5, a man opens fire on a group of men stealing from a neighborhood convenience store. One suspect is dead. A car crashed. And tonight, a neighbor in a nearby apartment complex faces a murder charge. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Karen Lee. I'm Jim Benham, and the gunfire broke out on Bell Creek Boulevard in Commerce City at the business called Haraf Foods Market. CBS 4's Terry Mason there, right? Tori Mason with the very latest. Tori, looks like investigators have a lot to sort out. They do, and these guys behind me have a lot of work to do to repair the damages. So just before 5 a.m., Commerce City Police responded to a burglary at this convenience store behind me. Now, people in the area heard gunshots, but those shots were fired by a neighbor who had nothing to do with the burglary. When officers got to Harif Foods Market, they found a car that had crashed into several other vehicles. Inside the car, police found one of the burglary suspects shot dead. Police say two other suspects ran. After searching the area, officers found one suspect and could only tell us he's a minor. He's been detained for questioning. Now back to those gunshots. William Shewitt, a man who lives nearby, told officers he opened fire on the burglars as they were fleeing. He's currently in custody for suspicion of murder. I mean, it really sucks because, you know, they were trying to do something good for the community, you know, for them to stop the violence, but obviously it didn't end how it was supposed to end. And you know, it's, it's kind of terrifying living in a neighborhood like that. Caught some muzzle flash at first. It seemed like it come through the window, but we rolled out and hit the floor. So, you know, it wasn't brave and looking out the windows. Probably a good idea there. Now, the name of the suspect who was killed has not been released. The store was closed when they broke in, and the owner says the only thing he noticed that was missing were cigarettes. We're live in Commerce City, Tori Mason covering Colorado first.